now that you have your drawing of your app done and so you have your paper prototype of it um, you are going to start to create the actual mobile version of the prototype you're not actually building an app you're just making a version of the prototype that you can tap through um, just like you would if it were an actual app. So you're not writing code or anything like that. So the first thing you do is open your pop app on your phone, okay? Uh, tap create project, choose which template in here you are going to use. Now, I know I gave you paper templates for phones and devices other than the iPhone. Within the app, the only templates they give you is iPhone. If you did a paper one for a Nexus or a Galaxy, it doesn't matter. You just choose one of these and it'll work just fine. Um, so I'm choosing iPhone X. I'm going to name my project the name of the app I've created, which is called Creamy Quest, and then tap Done. Now we're on this screen. Um, you're going to start adding still images of each screen of your app design. So we're going to tap the green circle with the plus sign in the bottom left corner. Tap camera. It's going to open your camera and you're going to take a photo of each section of the app that you um, created. Once you have all three of the three of those uh, photographed, go ahead, go ahead, tap mark. Now in here, you are going to be able to crop and resize if you need to. Um, which I think I'm good. It's totally fine. I'm gonna hit the green little scissors, which is like locking it in, and there's now our three images um, as they load that we took. Okay, so this image is the first screen. This will actually be the second screen and this will be the third screen in the navigation that we create. Okay, so now that we have these three images, you're gonna tap what would be the home screen or the first screen to create um, the link or the movement that uh, you're going to create as you go. Um, so to do that, you're just going to tap the add link button in the top right corner you get this little blue box. You can tap on it and move it around and then tap and drag over the whole amount of space um, that you would like it to be. It can be any size you want. But then when you've done with this, you have to tap link to image. And what this is doing is telling us when you tap on the area that that blue box is, I'm gonna be taken to this next location, which in this case will be this page um, and then down here where it says select transitions, this will add just a little bit more movement to your app. I like when my pages slide to the left, so I'll tap slide to the left and then click done. Okay, um, and then I'm done with that page, so I'm gonna click done again. Now I'm gonna do my second page. Again, tap add link. On this page, I'm gonna say when I tap this button, the upload photo button, it's going to take me to this page where I'm going to upload my photo and my transition is going to be a slide left. Tap done. done. I'm also going to add, add the option of a back button. I'm going to link that to the previous page, um, which is the home page. Uh, and then I'm going to tap done. And same thing, going to tap done again. And then we're going to do our third, my third page. I'm going to add a link. And on this page, the only link I'm gonna add is to the back button. And that's gonna take me back to that page. Okay, now the links and the number of pages are all going to be different depending on what you've decided and designed for your app. Um, so, but I would rec definitely recommend having those back buttons in there. Uh, you don't have to activate or highlight every single button. Like if you notice on this page, I've got Haas's Doghouse, a search bar, Toby's Treats, Maple City Candy, and Quarry Hill Farm. Um, those are, would be theoretically be active buttons to tap on and navigate to, but for the for prototyping, we don't need all of those things. So I'm just choosing to activate the Bay Store, 
So when I tap the base door, it should take me to the page that gives me all the base door information. Um, so it's just, it's just a prototype. It's just a rough draft. It's meant to give people an idea. So once you make all those links um, and you're sure it's good, we're gonna test it out. So we're gonna hit this blue play button in the bottom right corner. Um, on here, it's like, okay, so you see your thing. But if I tap the base door, I have that animation and that movement. Movement, And if I say, okay, I'm gonna upload a photo of the creamy that I had at the base door, I'm gonna tap upload a photo and it would take me to this screen where where this would be a photo, these would be all my, um, the photos that are in, are in library. My library is highlighted because this is showing the library view. And now to get back, to that next page, I would tap the back, the back in brings us back to the base store page. Um, and then if I tap back again, it would bring us back to the home page where all of these uh, businesses in. Um, so that's it. And then once you're done with that, to get out of the play or preview area, you're gonna tap and hold, click exit, and then you're gonna share. Okay, so in the top right corner, can't really see there you go you can kind of see it now there's the word share you're going to tap the email option you are going to type in my school email address l i n d s a y dot d i d i o at m v s d schools dot org and then you're going to click the little blue button to send it to me. That is going to send me a link. I'm actually not gonna send it to myself because it won't send. Um, that will give me a link uh, to where I will be able to click through your app the way on the computer, the way that you can click through it when we tap through the live play option in here. Um, one thing I want you to notice is when we're playing it, oh, I think it's mad at me. Let me try again. Play. Okay, so when we're playing it, notice the base door is what's highlighted in this peachy orange color. That's how I know that's where you want me to tap. Right, right? Um, everything that's highlighted in pink or blue, so these are your action buttons as I call them in um, the, the doc. So, so ones that are blue, I call them your um, actionable buttons. So the back button or the favorite button. And then the ones that are in orange are your navigation buttons. So those are what's indicating um, to me what to tap on. Okay, so it needs, you have to make sure you use at least one or two colors. The gray option is informing the user, in this case me, um, what page we are looking at, right? If I left all of these white, I wouldn't know what actual page this is. So this is like a sub page of near me. So if we look back at the first page, these are the um, all of the locations that are near me. I tap the base door, it gives me all the information for it, so I'm still near me. And now if I tap the upload to photo, it brings me to the library to be able to upload and take a photo. Um, so the blue, Buttons on my phone are the actionable buttons. The orange buttons on my phone on my app are the navigation buttons. So make sure you make note of those before you share it with me. Um, so that way I know what to tap on and I'm not just going all over the place. Um, once you have that uploaded and shared with me, make sure that you take a still image of this whole layout of your whole uh, paper prototype, upload that to Google Classroom so that way we've got it on file. Um, and that's it. Enjoy your app. I hope you make a whole bunch of them.